It's been a while since I've done one of these. Right, well, there uh, should be somebody here now. Well, let's see. Oh, we got Kyle and old mate. We got Lincoln. We got the Al Macca. Love some Al Macca. Had some Al Maccas for lunch today. That was a pretty silly thing to do, actually. I haven't had McDonald's in ooh, quite a while, and it had a three dollar quarter pounder today, and it was disgusting. And I've, I think I'm totally off. Totally off uh, McDonald's now. I just couldn't be bothered. I didn't even do a fast food Friday this week. And I, I think it was probably the first time in three or four years that I haven't uploaded a fast food Friday. I just couldn't be bothered. I just need a break. I'm just tired. I'm, I just feel weird. Ever since that jab and getting the Rona, I've just lost it. Totally lost it. Yeah, I haven't even had a beer for like a week. Just been like totally off everything. What's going on, folks? Is it the new me? Have I matured? God, I hope not. That'd suck. Imagine being mature. <sighs> That'd be stupid. Oh, we got Lacey here. Good on you, Lacey. Chris, eh? From North Lakes. Oh, that's up near where Lacey lives, actually. It's around Woodridge, isn't it? Apsy! Little Devil, Joe Collins. Jude. Beto Clock. Could be. It's Beto Clock somewhere. Chris Paul. Smashing a few frothies with me. Well, you're... Um, Thing of me, uh, whatever that thing is, uh, looks like you've had a few. Oh, Gibbo is here too. Hey, oh, you're having a long luncheon with the boss at the Brecky Creek. Oh, damn. Wish I could be there. It sounds awesome. North side of Brisbane. Oh, what? North sides, what? what? Wouldn't even know. Booze review. Well, here we go. Today's beer is a Carlton Draft. I tell you what, I was having a few of these um, during whenever I was drinking them. And these things really make you go a little bit silly. Like this uh, Carlton Draft seems to give you a lot of energy. It seems to uh, make you go a little crazy uh it seems like for me it makes my mouth i just like rattle off crap pretty much so that uh the carton draft uh, if i'm ever going somewhere and i need to like get in a fight or uh, start abusing people uh, for no reason i'll start drinking drafts i reckon that would be the way to go anyway cheers my first beer in like a week Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Mmm, I love that, uh, the hoppy taste, aftertaste in it. Oh, it's got a really nice hoppy aftertaste. I really enjoyed that, actually. Very enjoyed it. It's been three weeks for you. <coughs> oh, you're talking about drinks. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, you're having a voodoo ranger. Don't know what that is. Knees, you see. Asahi super dry. You got some F to knees. Courage cordial. That's what pretty much what this is. It's. <coughs> <coughs> Lingering Rona. I got the long COVID, you see. 
the long COVID just keeps hanging around. I think I got it though. It's been, uh, I just haven't had, just couldn't be bothered the last few weeks. So I think it's because, you know, I've been making videos non-stop for five years sort of without, with just a day off here and there. And I think it just all caught up with me and I just needed a bit of a break just to get my thoughts back and because otherwise I'd just be going out like if I'd done a fast food today it would have been a forced one and I wouldn't have done it for to try something anyway there's nothing to try it's all crap so I thought I'll oh, stuff it I'll just so I made a video this week I've only made one though that's normally I was making four so <laughs> ah well We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, a bat bolter. Extra. I got a free. I went to the bottle load today and uh, I bought a carton of VB. Fifty four bucks. Uh, actually, they're still in the car. Shit. Oh, that's all right. I'll get them out later. But they gave me a free bottle of uh, that something Finn beer. Now, if it's cold, I'll have it later. A Bolter XBA through the copper tanks. Gee, what were they about? 15 bucks for a, a shot? I know Bolters aren't cheap. Oh, man. I forgot just how good beer tastes. It's funny if you have a few days off and you're like, man, this stuff's good. And you just smash it. Look at that. I've, I've smashed that much already. And it's only been like three minutes. I'm going to be legless later on. And uh, Melissa's son just came and took Rollo, so I don't have to take him for a walk. So that's good. He's gone away for the weekend. Uh, Voodoo Ranger. Let's see what a Voodoo Ranger is. Oh, it's got a skull, yellow can with a skeleton and a Boy Scout cap. Um, it's got Amarillo hops. Oh, it's available in Wollongabba. Right, right. Uh, 70 bucks for a case of 16. Well, it'd have to be the best tasting beer ever for me to spend that much. It costs 18 bucks for a four pack. Well, it's still cheaper than the pub. And it's 6.8% alcohol. It's a leg opener as we say, in the trade. Uh, I am, Bill. I, 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 was, I was just watching your video before and uh, your short live stream, and I notice you never say hello to me. It's always some people in Canada or England. Never me. That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. You don't have to say hello to me. Bundaberg apple cider. Mmm. Yum. The non-alcoholic one. That one's good. Rollo. God, he's been a pain in the ass. Oh, my arm is killing me. I've, I, it's like I can hardly even move it. Because I'm just trying to walk him. Oh, and he just, like... You'll just shoot off in one direction and you'll just go whack! And you're like, oh, fuck, and he throws you back out and pulls your shoulder out. Oh. God, he's a fucking pain in the ass, that dog, I tell you. Yeah, he's gone away for the weekend, thank God. Now the missus and I can have some peace. Uh, distilling's going good. I've got a uh, made our first batch and uh, 
Well, we're, we're going to use the first batch as a write-off one. <laughs> we had a few last night of it and woke up with it. Both woke up with headaches today. I only had two. She had one. Now it's watered down to 42%. And um, yeah, we had to triple distill it because the second distill we stuffed up. So I was triple distilled. Um, yeah, but we've, I just today made another um, wash, so uh, alcohol wash. So uh, mixing sugar and yeast, so we put some tomato paste in this one with uh, some lemon juice as well. So we'll see how that one goes. Uh, that's just to make the alcohol, the first, you distill it for five hours or <laughs> four hours or something, get your alcohol, it comes out about 80% or something. Then you run it through the second time and hopefully it'll be uh, a nicer one. Plus we got a, um, a thing for the top of the Turbo 500, a, um, a botanicals basket. So it's not just boiling in its own stuff and then coming up. So it'll, and it'll keep the boiler nice and clean too. So put the botanicals in the top, steam passes through it. Uh, on the way to the, uh, the, the where it comes out, so hopefully, but we'll be an expert by this time next week, I reckon. Now we're going to let this this uh, froth, uh, the, the wash, this wash will probably leave for two weeks, then distill it, and then uh, double distilled. So it's probably be and maybe leave a week in between. Just give it more time. But you're supposed to, when you bottle it, give it another couple of weeks in the bottle just to settle down because when you first put your nose up, it's just like alcohol. Even when you um, watered it down from 95% to the 43%, it's really strong. But I've got a bottle where I left the lid open and it's already much mellower, so. But in a couple of weeks, it should be a lot softer and not as um, that alcoholic bite. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see. We're still in experimental stages at the moment. You better, Bill. I need a choke chain. Well, I've got a handbrake. She's gone out tonight, so. Um. Can't lift anything properly. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Bill, AKA Jason. No, I've tried chili and stuff. Chili, there's no, there's nothing good when chili and alcohol gets put together. I know that because I tried. I bought that chili beer once. That is just the most stupidest idea. Whoever came up with that was an idiot. I actually, I bought a six pack. I, I even gave Brian one and he wouldn't drink it. That's how bad it is. I made uh, some beer batter with one bottle. I drank one bottle and that was enough. And then three bottles, I think I threw them out. That's how, or poured it down the sink. That's how bad chili beer is, at least. Um, I don't know how bad the rest of them are. Oh, you better, mate. You bloody better make a video and say good day. Crikey. I'm on a schedule now. So where's um, Kurt? Is Kurt here? He's been sending me emails saying, where are you? So where, where was your Wednesday live stream? Well, I was like, well, well, that was Australia Day and we went to um, Melissa's parents. Went to Melissa's parents' place for dinner that night. So that was lovely. Had this um, nice meal and a panna cotta uh, cooked for us for everything. And Get told all the war stories, so that's always good. 
Now, Melissa's got some lovely parents, so that's good. They love me. You like uh, her dad's always saying, "Greg, when are you gonna go to Pie Face and try a Pie Face meat pie?" <laughs> so I'll get there one day. Soon. Oh, did I tell you that I bought a whole Bitcoin? Yep. I've got a Bitcoin. Yes. Here it is. How's that? A real one. For sale, uh, $60,000. Anyone want to buy it? I'll tell you, I'll sell it for $10,000 under asking price. Actually, my mum bought me this for Christmas. And, um, and I was like, oh my God, please tell me it's real. She goes, no, it's from one of the Chinese shop. I was like, yeah, damn it. Uh, the weather over here is very humid and nice and warm. Hot and, hot and wet, which is good when you're with a lady but not when you're in the jungle. Now it's quite warm. What's the temperature? I've got my temperature gauge here. Let's see. Uh, well, it's still pretty warm, like in my room. It's like 29 degrees. So that's, that's warmish. But it's not too bad. It's um, like it's humid, but it's not... Like yesterday and the day before, it was just raining. Actually, it was pouring rain this morning. It's been raining. This has been our wettest winter ever. Oh, summer even. Not ever, but it's been so wet. Such a wet summer. Just raining. But in saying that, everything is just so beautiful and lush and green. I don't think I've ever seen Brisbane this green for so long. Like it's been like lush and green for like five months. And normally it's just dead grass everywhere and everything. So, and everything's growing. Like every tree that you see, even the shrubs have all grown like this much. It's amazing. Thanks to carbon, you know, plants need carbon to survive, don't you? Without carbon, every plant would die. So, thank you, China, for pumping carbon into the atmosphere. Yeah, cheers. No, I'm only joking. Uh, Lincoln Kane. Well, thank you very much, Lincoln. For the next six-pack, Grego. Oh, you're such a good man, Lincoln. Such a good man. That'll go towards that carton of VB I bought today, even though I didn't need it. Still bought it. <laughs> yeah, this way Greg I rolls, mate. Cheers. Ooh, that's cold. I got the fridge set to one degree Celsius, so. These beers taste like they've been on ice. Good on you, Lincoln Kane. Uh, Lincoln, is is that Lincoln over there in uh, Western Australia? I tell you what, I know 70% of Western Australians think that uh, keeping, the, keeping the borders locked down is a good thing, but seriously, mate, it's not. It's not. They need to open up and just... Because there's, there's, there's no getting around... Um, like COVID just going running wild. There's nothing anyone can do. So they're just prolonging the inevitable over there, aren't they? Crazy. They're just prolonging the inevitable. 1788, First Fleet settled. Did they settle or did they discover? Oh, 31 in Hobart today. Wow, Anthony. You're living the dream. Let's see what the weather, I'll do a weather report. Okay, at the moment, Sydney's 25, Melbourne's 22, Brisbane's 27, Perth's 34, Adelaide's 24, and Hobart's 19. You said it was 31. 
Canberra's 28 and uh, Darwin's only 26. Wow, Darwin's cold. That's cold for Darwin. They'll have their jumpers on. I went to school with a guy from Darwin. It was like 30 degrees and he's wearing a jumper. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's bloody freezing down here. Happy 100th birthday. I might look 100, but I'm actually 120, so. Dry as a bone in Auckland. Oh, you're going to go, oh, sushi. You know, eat some sushi. We had some sushi um, last week or the week before. I took Melissa out for sushi for lunch. To that sushi train. I was hoping she'd just take one plate off. She took three. I was like, damn it, it's going to cost me. The best thing about the sushi trains, like I only had two plates and I was fine with that. That was for my lunch. She had three. And, um, but it came to like, you know, $24 or something for two people for lunch. And it was very nice to sit down and have a wonderful bit of sushi, grabbed a handful of wasabis, uh, they brought over the gluten-free um, uh, soy sauce, took that home. Oh, mate, we took home about 30 bucks worth of, of stuff. <laughs> Cheers! No, we didn't take anything home. I should have taken some of those gingers home, though. That would have been good. Could have thrown them in the still. Melbourne weather is Queensland at the moment. Well, Melbourne's only 22 degrees. Maybe a Queensland winter. Thirty-three painter and you're knackered. The removalist offer. Which one's that? You need more workers here. Yeah, well, we've got plenty of workers over here, mate. They're all flying in now. No uh, rapid tests, no nothing anymore. It's just everything's open per normal. No mandates, no women dates, no dates at all. Yeah, Perth really needs to just bite the bullet and open up. I mean, it took us ages and since we've done it, it's just like, oh, thank God. All our shelves are full of food again and and, uh, well, the pubs, the pubs aren't doing that good. I think no one's going out still. They're just like, ah, stuff it. I'm not wearing a mask. Not to walk to the dunny or something. I oh, know I'm not. WS hospitals are trash. Ah, okay. The sea breeze came after 3 p.m. Bloody hell. So it dropped, it dropped. <laughs> 11 degrees in like an hour. God. Crikey. I wonder if I can make my thermometer drop 11 degrees. Let's see. Well, it was, what, 29? Gee. We've got the uh, sea breeze coming in, in in here at the moment, I think. Goodness gracious. Like the temperature's dropping like crazy. How is that even possible when... It, oh, I've got the bottle of beer on it. <laughs> right, let's see if how fast it goes up now. Oh, there it goes. We'll back up. Back up to normal. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank God. Jeez, it's starting to get hot in here. Bloody hell. Crikey O'Malley. Struth, Cobbers. Whew, boy. It's getting warm again. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh it's dropping back down again. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. See, Bruce, uh, yeah, well, uh, me and Melissa have been talking about heading to Tasmania, actually. We thought, hey, 
Tasmania said that they've just opened their state to anyone to come in now, so we we're like, oh, we should go to Tasmania. I'd love to go to Tassie. But um, it doesn't look like we're going to be going until maybe, if we do go, it'll be later in the year, so. Dan Murphy's, you, know, you were, were out of Great Northern and Tun. Ooh, that's, well, they're two beers I never buy, so wouldn't bother me. You got a new mask, Hook Turnistan. Because uh, Mel's got the hook turns. Why on earth would any, why would you move to Melbourne? God. Friday Night Bevos. Yes, Mitty. Cheers. I'll tell you what, I've nearly gone through the first one. Oh. Delicious. God, this, I really do like Carton Dry. So I think it's a really nice Aussie tasting sort of beer. It's it's a it's a really good blend of uh, malt and hops. It's definitely got a malt flavour, but it's got this really nice hoppy aftertaste. That's mm, just I, I really enjoy it. Really enjoy it. Lucky I've got another one here, all ready to go. Oh yeah. Oh, you didn't move to Melbourne. You were born there. Oh, you were just in Bundaberg for shits and giggles. All right, here we go. I've got a question from the lid. Let's see. Come on. Oh God, what the f... What beverage was developed to... Uh, to something malaria? I'd say prevent... I'd say that's a quinine. I'd say quinine. Oh, tonic water. Yeah, yeah, tonic water. Yeah. I'd say tonic water. Calm dry is better than draft. Ooh, I don't know. I nearly bought... What's that? What's that blue one? Tui's new. I nearly bought a carton of Tui's new, but for an extra... I think it was... Two dollars, I could get thirty cans of VB, so I thought oh, I'll get another six pack for two bucks. So I got some VBs. I hope I like them again. I can't remember the last time I had a VB. I'm sure it was on my show here. So, but uh, I would say uh, that it is. Uh, going on here just focus for god's sakes what what's that even say 18th oh in which century was the french revolution ah oh, that's a different lid oh. what happened to the other one i just had it in my hands Well, I've got no idea. I've got absolutely no idea what happened to that question. Oh, it fell in my pants. <laughs> Tonic water! Yes, good on you. By the way, what what the century was the French Revolution? I'd say it was the 18th, the uh, 1700s. You haven't been to Bundaberg for 12 years? What? I don't know what I'm smoking. It must be that uh, long COVID, long COVID. Uh... 
You were from Melbourne, you're still pooping the toilet. Oh, cool. Okay, so forex skull cures any illness. Yeah, well, I haven't had any. I haven't really been having any forex skulls. Maybe I should go and get a count of forex skulls and might like, fix my long COVID. The Aldi home brand phone. No, it's my good phone. It was just... Let me just clean this lens here. Let's see. Well, it is at like a year and a half old. So it could be... It could be something to do with... Oh, is that better? Well, I'm not glowing like... Well, I sort of do. I know the... Um, the like the picture on the phone is beautiful. But then the one on the picture on this on the YouTube here, because I got this here, and it's like I look uh, very anemic. Oh, look at this! Whoa! Oh my God! How many people are watching? Jeez! Too many. Actually, not enough. How many here? 51. Well, not like the old days. Remember? Remember the old days? I'd get like 100 people watching. Those are good old days, mate. Now, I'll be lucky to pull 48. You were going to send me a gift pack from Budroom Ginger. Ah, yes, yes. The wellness box. Now yeah, they did that. Actually, I got sick straight after that wellness box, didn't I? They probably sent me like, um, that's probably where I got caught COVID. You want to leave Auckland for good? And live com Coro Mandel. You've been down to Melbourne, caught a sniffle. Beer divinity, ah, yes. Well, Ben, uh, you'll be glad to know I bought a carton of VB cans, 30 of them, for, for $54 today. So, beat that. Beat that. And it was from the most expensive bottle shop there was too. There's, I got, I got my thing on my phone saying, oh, Greg, uh, McDonald's here. Um, we've got a quarter pounder for $3. If you wouldn't mind coming in and grabbing one. So I did. And right next to the Maccas is a, like a, a bottle shop. You know the one there, uh, Gibbo? And it's got, it's, it's a huge warehouse, but they've got the most expensive alcohol going around. I don't know how that works. Anyway, uh, I bought, um, uh, I thought, oh, I'll just go in there, see what's there. And they had a carton of VB's cans for 54 bucks, which used to be like 40 bucks. But we got bite inflation over here as well. The vlogs in fight inside infinity, yes. You had to buy yourself a new phone, a Samsung A22 from Safeways. Oh, there you go, 300 bucks. Mate, that's all you need. If you're not taking, if not using it to make or do live streams on YouTube, then mate, I'd just be getting the a 300 buck phone, that's for sure. I was off my face when I was getting lots of uh, views. Well, let's work on that today. Cheers. Surprise the missus when she gets home. Off my face. <sighs> Ooh.
You've got a wellness box. Oh, Thursday. You went to Tana Fan Tana Town. Great food, but found an Aussie pip pub. Living off snapper? God, you must have dropped about 10 kilos, I reckon, apps. When we heading to Kiev? Um, I don't, are we going to Kiev? I don't know. Well, I didn't do a fast food review today because uh, I didn't make one. The first time in like three or four years or five years. <clears throat> I just... I just couldn't, I just didn't have the motivation to get up. Long COVID, long COVID. I've got, I had the COVID. Uh, I've got the long COVID, uh, which means uh, I'm still getting over it. Yeah. Yep. That's my excuse. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to use that one for the next few months. Let's hope. First choice, yeah. First choice liquor is my last choice, generally. They are so over the top in price. Um, there's another one as well. I think, I'm not sure if it's... There's first choice liquor and there's another one um, that's also an absolute rip-off. I, I just don't know... How they stay open? Because I've never seen anyone go inside them. Mind you, I think it's the first choice. They were pretty busy. There's lots of people going in. You just purchased the most expensive pack of smoke. 65 bucks. Remember when you got a 20 pack for eight? <laughs> God, I, I'm so... One thing I'm so glad is that I'm not a smoker. I mean, I used to, like, just bum puff them when I was, like, 18. And I'd sit there like, yeah, man, I'm so cool. And it was probably two bucks a packet or something back then. But after that, yeah, you just have some. If somebody offered you one, yeah, I'll have one. You just had one. But besides that, like, since then, my, just the, the smell I don't mind. But if I tried to draw back on it, I would just cough my guts up. So glad I'm not a smoker. God. How's the women's ashes? <laughs> well, I got one game in. <laughs> How lucky are those? Is the uh, English women's team coming out here for a holiday? Well, coming out here to play ashes, and uh, what, they play like one game? <laughs> Ah, God. Oh, you made a video for me. Oh, good on you. It's been three weeks. It's been three weeks, what? Celebrations. Yeah. Is that that one? Is that the one next to the Maccas? That's crap, that one. Liquor Legends. Yeah, Liquor Legends is expensive. Celebrations is expensive. I mean, the old BWS, you can search for a good deal in there sometimes. You might get two cartons for 90 bucks or something. I haven't been the same since I contracted... Yeah, I know, since I got the uh, the Rona. Well, it, it gave me these headaches and everything, and even the missus, she still got her headaches. And Yeah, it's uh, it must do give you swelling of the brain or something. Uh, yeah, definitely something wrong. Uh, it, it could be, it's it's sort of like the when you get it, it's like getting the flu, but sometimes it can just, sometimes you might get the flu with a cough, and then you've got that cough going for the next, like, three weeks, sort of. I think that's what it is.
allows you to use your flybys. Yeah, I use my flybys when I use my thing. Actually, I got a free, I got a free beer with my, um, I got a free beer when I bought my uh, carton of uh, VB today. A single fin. I got the single fin. So that was good. Luke Smith. Thanks very much, Luke Smith, for your super chat, mate. Money's a bit tight right now. Money's too tight to mention. Buying another house, but cheers to have a beer with the El Grego and the chat on a Friday. You're buying another one. How many do you have? God. You know, when I just wish that when I'd, I'd when I was like in my early 20s, someone had said, you know what? Buy a house. And I bought one. Because they would have been about $120,000 back then. And you probably would have paid it off in 10 years. And then you'd be on your second or third one by now, I reckon. Bloody hell. But cheers, uh, Luke. Well, you'll, you'll end up with a hundred houses soon. What are you going to do with them? Um, rent them out? Airbnb them? Money suit type dimension. Okay, but a virus so deadly you have to get tested to see if you have it. Um, not really. I mean, you know you've got it if you've got it. When you wake up, you're in a pool of sweat and uh, you've got a raging headache and a sore throat and you can't get out of bed. Um, well, you could do the test. That woman in Sydney mid off wearing a G-string. What? You tested positive on New Year's Eve, still battling a sinus mutilly or infection. Both ears have tinnitus that's driving you insane. Wow. Yeah, there's something about it that uh, that's that's really there's something about the the COVID. It really like when I had it, it I could still go and walk the dog and stuff like that, but I I'd have to sit down like on the gutter halfway through, going, oh fuck, oh god, and my head was spinning. I'd be like, whoa, I'm fucking tripping out. Felt like I was tripping. But yeah, it takes a while to get over. It's really weird. It's a really weird uh, disease, that's for sure. I'm, I'm so glad I caught it, though. I'm glad I got it. Just got it out of the way. Now, the next time I get it, hopefully it'll just be like, I don't even know I've got it. Oh, g'day, Dan. Cheers, Dan. Um, over there in Miami, I hope you're, uh, your little bout of illness is getting better uh the gout actually you know what i had a feeling uh, well I'm, the back of my this foot here right sometimes when i bang my heel there it like really hurts like to the point of excruciating pain and it's like oh fuck, and you're like bending over in agony so I've had a few days off the beer and I did notice that uh, the gout or whatever pain was in my heel was uh, a lot less. So I've got a feeling uh, my gout was beer related, which makes sense, sort of. And um, so now I am going to control it uh, with drinking less beer. So cheers. Either that or I've got an infected heel and I'm going to die. Right, uh, but thanks for your concern there, Dan. But yes, uh, I think Dan, I don't know if I can say, uh, has anyone ever had, um, you know, that carpal tunnel? I remember I had it and um, I went to a specialist and they said, you're going to have to get an operation 
Um, your hands will never be the same, blah, blah, blah. What they do is they just cut a little slit down there, do something, sew it up, and it'll all be fine. And I thought, you know what, I'm not doing that. If it can, if, if it can come on that fast, then it should be able to disappear. Maybe not as fast, but it should be able to disappear. So, I just thought, nah, I'm not doing that. I'll just see if it can heal on its own. And 15 years later, I can actually half use my hands, so. I saved about a thousand dollars and an operation. So good on me. If you poo in the shower and stomp it down the drain with your feet, it gets you in a tinnitus. Well, that, I've heard that. Um, I've tried it several times. And um, it might have gotten rid of the tinnitus, but I had uh, someone else yelling in my ear, telling me not to do it. So I sort of backfired a little bit. You've been working crazy hours. Wish I had your job. Just wanted to see how you've been before going to bed to him. Oh, New Orleans. G'day, Felix over there in New Orleans. Hope you're well. $80 lawn, so long, then two weeks later, it costs you another 80 Well, why don't you get a lawn mower, buy a lawn mower off uh, Gumtree, and mow your own lawn every week. So you say, buy an $80 lawn mower off Gumtree, and then mow your own lawns. We'll get your boys to. That's why, that's why you have kids. You can take the catcher off and... With a stick and hockey strap up, and it'll spit out the back under their legs. Hopefully, there's no rocks there because it'll destroy their shins. But, or you just leave it down, get a mulching mower, it just drops it back in, and mow it uh, every five days. Why? You don't like, uh, let me go and let me see if I can find a good cheap lawn mower for you on Marketplace. Right, let's see. Um, lawn mower in Logan. Well, there's a hundred and thirty one. There's a hundred dollar one. Looks all right. Hundred and thirty. A hundred dollars. That one just needs a clean. That's a Briggs and Stratton. Just get the hose under that one. Uh, the Honda. Gee, that's all right. Three forty. Geez, I'd buy that one. If I was looking. Is that a mulching one? Uh, $75 lawnmower there, four stroke. Gee, that's what you need. God. There's an $80 one there, mate. Just buy it. There's a $30 one. A Victor. And it's electric. I wouldn't try that one. There's a really old Victor mower for 70 bucks, Mate, there's plenty of them. There's a $40 one there. You can spend 200 bucks and get this nice Victor there. Anyway, you need a man in your life, Lacey, that will come and mow your lawn. Oh, yeah. Doctors say the main course of gout is mugshot passer. Wouldn't be surprised. Uric acid levels. Ah, oh, the old uric acid. Yeah, well, I mean, uric acid's in everything. My doctor said... Stop eating grass-fed beef because uh, the beef from a grass-fed beef cow is um, has uric acid. It contains stuff that can give you gout. So, mate, I can't even eat grass-fed beef anymore, mate. That's how fucked life is. Tell you what, this, uh, this beer is going right up there. Good on me. So he went to a local, local fish and trick, grabbed a South, Southerner burger. 
Panko chicken, bacon, cheese, pickles, lettuce, tomato, chipotle sauce. Ooh, rip snorter. That's what I should do. Just keep just keep making burgers. Make the same, exact same burger every week, except add a different sauce to it. <laughs> One day you panko it, next day you don't. You've got the front lawn covered. I should, I mean, I've seen that one, um, I've seen this one YouTube channel where this guy, he doesn't say anything, he just goes and mows someone's lawn for free, and he gets like 3 million views or something. He'd be making like $15,000 just for ma mowing a lawn, that's what I should be doing. Wish I hadn't sold my lawnmower now. Well, I just saw one for 80 bucks on uh, Marketplace, I should go and buy that one. Start mowing, start doing free lawn mows for people. And maybe I can get, you know, 2 million views uh, per, per, per lawn mow. Make $10,000 instead of uh, 80 bucks. <sighs> God. I'm going to start doing that. Look out, Greg the Gardener. He's coming back. I'll be making, I'm on my lawn every day for that 10, 20, I'll be making $50,000 a week. Yes! Stuff this live stream, I'm going to start my lawns. I'll see you later. Bye. That's never happening. Oh. I should take some shots. Whereabouts should I take them? Yeah, I used to, when I was um, six years old, my parents used to drive me to my auntie's place to mow her lawn. I think I got uh, $2 or something. That's when I was a little kid. $2, though, I mean, that was, uh, you know, that was 50 years ago, two bucks. Mind you, they had this mansion in, um, in Graceville and it was on three blocks of land. God. They used to drop me over there on Saturday morning, pick me up Sunday afternoon. Fucking For two bucks. God. Jeez, mate. Come mow your lawn. Do you need your hedges for him? <laughs> Actually, I sold my hedge trimmer. Damn it, I wish I'd kept it now. You had a booster shot. Oh, mate, that's the, that's the death shot, that one, isn't it? If the first two didn't work, then you don't get the third, surely. Unless you uh, really want to. Yeah, I'm not getting any more. No way. There's no way I'm getting any more. I got, I was coerced into getting the first two. Then I caught it a week after I got my second one. So hopefully my immune system now is, is probably up to the fifth booster. Well, I reckon it'd be about fifth, bo fifth booster stage. You have to in the building industry. <laughs> commies. Why don't you tell old commie filthy CCP Dan to get effed? Yeah, that's what I would do. I'd quit my job before I got the third one. <laughs> Unless of course I just bought a new house and I had to work, but I mean you could have died. It's a shame they don't show all the uh, uh, facts from the um, stuff. Isn't it? They they only they never show you everything, do they? Dodgy. They're dodgy ass. Our governments are dodgy. You still haven't got it. Well, you'll get it. And you might you might have even had it and you didn't even know it.
use live chats uh, for ideas of videos that we go viral. Well, it'd be nice. Well, for starters, you have to make a video. I've got uh, some stuff downstairs I was going to make a video with. And I still haven't done it. I've just lost the motivation, you see. I've, I've just, like, since I got the long COVID, I, I've just been, like, I just feel like I just, my motivation's gone. I'll get it back eventually. But at the moment, I, I don't know, I just, maybe I need a month off or something. I don't know. Wait for the long COVID to get rid of. And to help with long COVID, how do you get rid of long COVID? Carbon draft. That's right. You can get it coveting. You can get it rovering. You can get it plowing a cow. Matter of fact, I got it now. For school on Tuesday, uh, you'll be tested for the first time this year. Oh, what? I don't understand why everyone's getting tested for stuff. I mean, it's running wild in the um, community. Just get over it and get on with life. I, I, seriously, I, I just can't understand it. Why they... It's like... Uh, there's, what's the point? Well, the, what's the point? What's the point even talking about it? Dictator Dan had a, a holiday. I tell you what, if he ever came up here and I saw him, he would cop the biggest ear bashing from me. Oh, mate, I'd get up him. Call me Dan. I say, why aren't you in China, Dan? Why aren't you there sucking cheese knob or something? You see, this is a carton draft, mate. It makes you say silly things. Well, from what I hear, every, Victorians actually like Dan, so I don't know if they'll bite him out, but if they don't, Victoria is is turning fourth world. I need a night out on the town. Take as long as time I need off. You can get it cutting someone grass. Matter of fact, I think I just stuck it in there. Oh yeah, the uh, the paranoia is out there. I mean, there's, I reckon, the, what probably two, probably five and a quarter, a fifth of the population's probably already had it now. So it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went to the shops today, and like no one was. I always wear my mask like down at, around my chin, sort of, and wait for someone to say, "Put it on." But, um, like there's, like everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people weren't even wearing one in the shops today. And I was like, oh, did they change the mandates or something? I still haven't looked. Except for your grandma, God. Watches too many North Korean propaganda movies. He probably just watches himself. A lot of people think Skymo is doing a good job. Well, he's done nothing really, has he? He's just like, oh, I might go on a holiday to. Uh... Oh, that's Bob Hawke. Um, he's done absolutely nothing, I think, Skymo. And I love how uh, Albo will get on. Yeah, if I had done it, I would have locked it down for another year. Who knows, mate? Who knows? I think I think um, uh, Skymo will still win the next election uh, through uh, a, a lot of people will vote vote for my, the my minor parties, but I think most of their preferences will go to uh, the Liberals anyway. So you'll get another four years of Skymo, I reckon. 
Although it would be interesting if Albo got in. Either way, I don't trust any politician anymore. No way. Not that I did before, but I certainly don't now. No way. Never trust a politician. If I can ever tell you one piece of advice, never trust the politician. Skymo suggested letting people under 18 drive forklifts. Yeah, well, that's a good idea. Why wouldn't they? My, my friend who has a farm, he's got like his 10 year old kids uh, drive the tractors and plow the fields and all that sort of stuff. If a 17 year old can get a, uh, or a 16 year old can get a learner's permit, why can't they drive a forklift? Made a forklift. I've driven forklifts before. They're bloody easy. It's just. Forward, back, turn that way, turn that way. And uh, then you just use some things to go up and down with the thing and sideways. Piece of piece, mate. If a, if you can, if a 17, somebody under 17 can draw, play a PlayStation, they can drive a forklift. I mean, it's just, if anyone's saying, like, Oh, I can't believe they'd want a 17 year old to drive a forklift. Why not? Why not, I say? Give them something to do. At least they're not doing selling, doing crack cocaine under the bridge or rooting like their 15 year old girlfriend, getting her pregnant. God, I'd rather them drive a forklift than have a child out of wedlock. God. I would rather summer than winter. Bob Walk. Yeah. Aussie cocksuck. As if you vote for that guy. Not that I know who he is, but he's, he's just a troublemaker from what I've seen. And he's pretty clueless as well. I just saw one video of his and I thought, what a wanker. But he might have seen one of my videos and thought the same thing too. I'm sure if you turn the cameras off and had a, a nice beer with him, uh, he's probably a decent bloke. Right. Now, where was I? Do you like my, um, do you like my singlet? It's got a peace symbol. Give peace a chance, all we are saying. Give piss a chance. Right, I'm giving piss a chance. I'll give him this bottle of piss a chance right now. Okay. All we are saying Give piss a chance Right, have I missed any, uh, any good uh, comments here? Gold Coast Airport, right, right, right Help with Supermarket Warehouse, great idea He's Russian oh, Who's Russian? Flex the guns, do some curls. No, I don't have to. I'm doing some curls right now. Ready? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, oh, gee. Tell you what. There's a, um, like, where I walk the dog, they've got all those gym things set up. So, you know, you walk around uh, this big oval thing and they've got, like, four gyms. And there's one that's got the bench press where you have to push your own weight. Tell you what, I got to push about 300 kilos right here. So I'm like, <laughs> uh, there's the bottom ones, like the handles like here. So you push it out, it's pretty easy. So I always hold it right up there where it's much harder and you're like, <laughs> 
Strain your chest, strain your arms, strain everything. Too easy. A Grego only fence. Mate, if I had a 12 inch long, I'd do an only fence, but I don't have one. Even if it was eight inches. <laughs> Mate, I'd be only fansing it. Well, do, do they have people with micro penises on the only fans? If they don't, maybe they need one and I could do it. Cheers. Oh, fuck, that's so cold, mate. How's this, mate? Mate, my God, this, how's this? Sorry, how's this fridge, right? Got this thing. I got it set to one degree. Yes, one degree. So I got a nice one degree beer. What more do you want? Hey, what time is it, by the way? Let's see. Oh, 6 11. Ooh. How's the sun going? Sun is going down on another day. I should go up to the um, the veranda and take a look out there. I was hoping the sun wasn't up because if there's no sun, that means yeah, it could be. It might be cloudy if it's too cloudy. If it's too sunny, I can't sit there, but if it's cloudy, I can. Jesus is alive in my heart. Lord Jesus Christ, all the Lord to say. Do, 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 Jesus, my Savior. Ah, Jesus. He's my Lord and Savior, that's for sure. Yeah, I used to have a um, a gardener when I lived in Spain. His name was Jesus. Jesus, he, he was my saviour. Oh, you know, we've still got the possum living here, don't you? How's that sun going? Oh, jeez. Oh, it's nice and cool around here. Oh, wow, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, the sun's just come out. Fuck. Anyway, the possum, the possum's still living here. Have a look. So, yeah, you, you can just see the fur off. Oh, Jeez, why does the fucking... How's the spiders going anyway? We caught a few bees the other day. The webs aren't looking too crashed up. We got this one here. But then this guy over here has built this one here. Has built a web right in front of this one's web here. So they're stealing each other's food. It's pretty lousy of this guy over here to just try and steal this one's food. The webs aren't looking too crash hot either. They both need to rebuild it, but that is a beautiful golden. Look how beautiful and golden those webs are. Wow. That's probably why they call them a golden orb. What a beautiful web. The other day there was a bee. Sometimes you just wish you had your camera going because uh, the other day some bee got stuck up here and this spider down there runs up and goes and then they're having a bit of a fight and then the bee managed to fly off. So, oh God, that sun is just caning at the moment. God, anyway, there's some, there's the, uh, there's the outlook. Well, I'm not standing out here with the sun blaring down on my face. Uh, let me just water this plant here first, though. It's...
Just the leaves look like they were curling up a little bit, so... There's our hawk. He's down there. Actually, I can move him up now, because Rollo, Rollo is scared shitless of this uh, fake hawk, so put him down there. But I'll move him. Because, well, you got to move them around, otherwise the birds will get used to them. Hawk! Hawk! Oh, I think the sun might be going behind a cloud. Might just stay out here for a bit. Ah! Well, it's a beautiful afternoon up here in Bris Vegas, that's for sure. Cheers, on a Friday afternoon. Have a look at this. Hey, Scooter Fox is here. G'day, Scooter. I love this plant. Like, see, when you water it, the drops just sort of hang around on the on the plants there, and it just these drops just sit there, and it always does that. It always looks really nice. There's the other plants. Got some succulents down here. This possum that lives here, it's actually like this stuff here. Uh, he's brought stuff in to make the nest a little bit more cozy. So he's really making this place his home so if I pour water in there lucky this plant only needs water about like once every two weeks otherwise you'd be in a world of pain that um, that possum here's Bris Vegas for you nice and warm at the moment it's what 27 degrees or something so it's very pleasant we got our spiders down here uh, this little pilly here or a mock orange it's just about to flower so when these flowers open uh, there's going to be tons of bees and these they've already been catching heaps of bees these so they'll be as They'll get massive. Oh, look at this one. He's doing some. He's doing some work. They'll get this one. Will get twice as big as he already is. He was half that size a week ago, but he's been catching a few bees. That one, so he's um, he's got plenty of plenty of food in his guts. And then there's this one here. Jeez, those webs really do need a bit of attention. Look at it, all these attachment things here. The old spiders, mate. I wouldn't want to be someone who hates spiders that lives here, that's for sure. Oh, thanks uh, to Heartgram666. Love you, Grego, from Traralgon. Traralgon? Where's that? Where's Traralgon? Uh, thanks, Heartgram666. Yo, the uh, devil man. Loves, loves the devil. 666. Yeah, let me just fix this fucking stupid. Put that right. Let's hope that doesn't fall over. Hawkeye. 
Works wonders. If you've got a, a dog that uh, runs into your yard or a cat or something, well, this thing works better with the uh, furry animals. And I'm, I'm actually, I'm a bit worried about the possum. If he sees this, he might not. He'll, well, he's obviously got, he'll have a few houses around. He norm, normally was sleeping up under the um, solar panels on the roof. But uh, he's found the hanging basket there, mate. He's turned that into a beautiful nest. So good for him. 29 degrees there near Newcastle. That's good. You got two possums in your roof. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, you don't want possums in your roof. Uh, the the uh, scooter fox, the, the ones from the Indian restaurant, that's these ones down here. That's the ones that we took from the Indian restaurant. So it's, oh, it must have just been flowering, but that's the one there. Is that some, what's that? Oh, it's, put that in there. Oh, that must be in the possum. He's breaking stuff off when he's walking to his nest. But yeah, that's the, that's the Indian restaurant one we took. So doing well. Succulents are so easy to grow, and um, yeah, if they're in, yeah, if you're watering them a lot, they'll grow faster, and they tolerate shade and bits of sun, and yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, succulent. Whew, it's going to be um, a pretty good sunset, I think. You've been walking this entire stream. Yeah, let me go to the end of uh, the comments. Uh, bees knees, cat's pajamas, Spider-Man, gift of a garden, Victoria. Oh, happy 45th birthday. You're on the Carton Stubbies. It's Carton Stub, Carton Draft Stubby number four. Oh boy! Tell you what, this stuff, the, the Carton Drafts, mate. It, it really just, I don't know. It makes, it makes you lose all your inhibitions. That's for sure. It's uh, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, if I knew I was going to a party and I was doing a bit, oh, this spider is doing a bit of web fixing. I should get set my camera up and uh, do a live stream. Oh, I'm doing one now, so. Doing a bit of mending. Oh, jeez. Well, happy birthday, Robbie. Oh, he stopped. Maybe he ran down. He thought he had something in his web. I see. I'll, I'll tickle, I'll tickle his web down here. See if he runs up and bites my finger. <laughs> no, but he's enjoying the dancing. <laughs> oh, he didn't even try to bite me. Yeah, damn it. What about this one? I'll tickle this one's web. No, nah, nothing. What you say is, God, there's not even any bees around. The other few nights, there's been tons of bees just hovering around, but none at the moment.
There's today's sunset in Brisbane, Australia. It's uh, currently about, oh, I'd say, 27 degrees, I think. It's pretty nice. Um, there's clouds in the sky, a few of them, but it's not really as humid as it was before. So, it's, But this week's supposed to be pretty good. It's like 30, above 30 every day, so that should be good. I don't mind the warmth. I much prefer the warmth than the cold, that's for sure. At least when it's warm, you can cool yourself down in front of a fan. Or just with beer. <laughs> but if you're in the cold, it's very hard to get warmed up. Oof. Very hard. What do I see? A, oh, sorry. Uh, to Heartgram666 again. What do you do for a cross these days? Haven't watched me for a while. Um, well, I'm still just living the dream, uh, getting those beautiful YouTube dollars sent to me every month. Now, uh, I've been thinking about uh, getting a proper job. Well, getting a small business running, working for myself. Uh, hopefully just getting a couple of call outs here and there, maybe twice a week or something. Um, that's a, that's a work in progress, but, uh, no, I'm still YouTube, full-time YouTube for five years now. Uh, this year, it, like last, the, was it the year before last or last year when COVID was on? Oh, mate, it was, we were sitting pretty then, but now it's going back to normal. Yeah, I just don't know what to do. What, you, what's, what kind of 50, however old I am? 53, 53 years old, what do you do, you know? Do I go and stock shelves in Coles with a bad back? Do I, uh, do I work in a pub as a waiter? I can't do that. Not now. No. Nah. If I hadn't sold my lawn, I could probably sell my lawns, but it's just too fucking hot, man. So what do you do? What is one to do? Maybe I should go and buy a lawnmower and start doing lawns again. Just drop a letterbox, like, just in my street. And then I can just walk down with my lawnmower, do all my stuff, then, like, walk home. If I got, like, one a week, and I charge like 60 bucks or something. 60 bucks a week. That pays, that's a counting of beer. Every week. Ah, or I can just get them to pay me in beers. There's an idea. Tax free. Carlton Draft years ago was in a big white can. Really? 240p. Some local bogans coming up the street with this turbo thing. What was that? Looked like an RX7. <laughs> Top car, mate. Top car. Anyway. I'd head inside. See you later, folks. See you later, garden. Stay good. See you, possum. I hope you're well. Right. Do 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 la da dee do do. Shoot up and bad it to be. La da 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 do 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 da de La da 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 Do da 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 Right Come back to the wrap it up room What time is it? 6.30 Right Well I've only got time for to finish this beer off I think 
Uh, Brian. Yeah, I haven't spoken to Brian for a little while, but I think he's now driving um, like the big machinery that they use to dig trenches so he can lay pipes. How did I manage to get the Domino CEO in that? Well, they contacted me, so. Yeah, that's how. Uh, yes. He was a very nice guy. Don, uh, Don May? Very nice guy. Yeah, I'll just, I should just do a little small business or just do something, even if it's out of the garage or something. Just, I don't want to work for anyone else. I, I've been self-employed for nearly 20 years and the thought of, I did work at Infinity uh, for like eight months or something full time and that sucked, man. That sucked. You just got these bosses that are just like, you know, trying to get up you for doing your job and stuff and it's like, fuck off. Can't stand those bricks, mate. Yeah. The only time, the only job I get, if if I was like in a management role or something, uh, where I could tell people what to do, and I'd probably be really lousy at doing that. Yeah, I wouldn't be telling. I'd just say, keep doing your job. Although if they were really shitty, I'd tell them, and then I'd probably get um, dragged before the courts for being truthful or something. So I couldn't do that. Edit videos for, the reason I don't make videos is because I have to edit them. So me editing videos for someone else is <laughs> preposterous. Work at Dan Murphy's, not with my back. 420p is back to, it's fine now. My, my thing's showing 720p. I think it's your internet, not mine. I've got a Mitsubishi Triton Ute. That's the car I have. Still, I've had it for... This year, I'll have had it for 13 years. And I'd love to get rid of it. It's only got like 87,000 Ks on it, though. I bought it from new. So it's definitely paid itself off. It's made me more money than what uh, it's cost me, that's for sure. Um... No, it's still a good car. The aircon works and the uh, power steering, ABS. It's got airbags, apparently. But I don't need a ute. I need a back seat. Now, I'm still tossing up. If my next car, what should I get? Should I get a station wagon or a dual cab ute with a canopy? Because I don't need a ute per se. I would prefer a station wagon. But I could get a dual cab ute for like half the price, so. Hmm. Or should I get like a Fortuna or should I get something like a Subaru? Hmm. 830 in London. Oh, g'day, London. Gordon Bennett, have you been stabbed yet this morning? Too early for a beer? No, I don't think so. You're on 144p. Jeez. A station wagon. A ute. I could be a bouncer at a nightclub. Oh. Yeah, I could. Station wagon's a dad car. Dual cab ute. For the win. Uh, looks like the tar... No, the tar guy's not broken in my car. You got a ferret for a pet? No point getting a Fortuna unless you get doing a lot of off-road stuff. Well, I plan to do off-road stuff. The thing is, my next car, well, I've had this shitty old fucking ute for 13 years. The next car I'm going to get is going to last me another 15 years or 20 years. So I might as well get something that's totally practical. So something off-road, I plan doing off-road, mate. I plan on doing it. So, 
gaming license. I couldn't sit in front of like dickheads for eight hours a day. I thought of the casinos and stuff, but seriously, I just don't want to do that sort of stuff. I can't work for someone else. I can't. Unless it's Gibbo. Work for him. Greg, get me a beer. Yes, Gibbo. I could do that. Do I watch you drink or do I watch me drink? Hmm. A Kia Sportage. Yeah, yeah. Prados, well, I'd, see, I'd love a Prado, but they're like 65,000 and at least the Fortuna is like 55, so it's like 10. It's probably not, it's not as big. It's got more features and it's probably more practical. Ah. Oh. God. Oh my God. There's no way that's Michelle. No way. There's no way. That can't be Michelle B. Don't work for the man. Fuck that. Hi from your old Bali travel buddy. Great seeing you. So happy and relaxed. I watch your vids all the time. Just don't usually catch you live. No way. Well, if if that's uh, like Michelle, Michelle and I went to uh, Bali together. Um, Michelle's a uh, awesome. Do you still do the massaging, Michelle? I really need one. Are you living? Do you still live on the north side? Because. Yeah, I, I could I could drive up there and, and get a massage off you. I don't know if you're still doing it. But you, you didn't have to send a super chat though, Michelle. I'd, but uh, yeah, Michelle and I went to uh, Bali together. We traveled right around there. And uh, I, I always remember that time when we were, like we're friends, like there's nothing romantic or anything, but we shared rooms, two single beds in a room. And one night we were staying in one place and there was an earthquake and like we we're just lying in our beds and the, and like it starts doing these ones and then we look at each other and went was that an earthquake <laughs> it was so funny but yeah I, it's so uh, good to see you michelle I didn't know you watched my videos so good on me Good on you. I'm just on my um, third, uh, what's it called? Carlton Draft, so head spin on. Every man and his dog's four by four ring. Well, we're going up to, um, what's that place called? Uh, 1770, and there's heaps of tracks there, like down to the beach and all that stuff. And, um, if we, otherwise you can't get there. So that's the reason I'd get like a proper four by four. So I could do just tracks and have fun. I'd actually probably do more driving if I had a proper car where I could get off road and do that sort of stuff. So it's probably worth getting, I reckon. Yes, he's still doing massage living Kedron. More bro and sis type. Yeah, we're we're more like brother and sister. Well, I'll um a Kedron, Kedron bowl with a good time sure. Well, my mum lives at um at uh, Termside. I'll give you a, a message on um what's it called Facebook because I really do need a massage. And uh, my beautiful partner, Melissa, gave me um, some money to get a massage for my birthday and I still haven't used it. So she keeps getting up me telling me, when are you getting your massage? When are you getting your massage? And I'd rather give you the money than someone else. If it's not too awkward. And it'd be good to catch up to. You can massage my hairy shoulders. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, is the big bash on tonight, the final? You know what? I've been watching uh, lots of stuff with Melissa, like lots of cricket. Like when the Ashes were on, I just have cricket on all the time. And like while we're watching dinner and cooking. So she got actually right into it. And I was like, oh, this is good. Now she's like, oh, is the cricket on? And she starts watching cricket and she loves AFL too. So it's like, oh, this is great. Ah, Rob Bob's here too. God, I've met Rob Bob. I was watching your, I, I sat down and I watched, I started watching your live stream, thinking it was a, a proper live stream, and I found out it's like pre-recorded. And I was like, how the fuck do you pre-record a live stream? God, I was very jealous. No worries, Michelle. Yeah, I don't know. I, the only time I ever get on Facebook is they've got Marketplace. So uh, I, I sell stuff on there and I buy stuff on there. So um, that's the only time I ever look on, on uh, Facebook. Otherwise, yeah, it's, I, I avoid it at all costs. Um, no worries, Michelle. I'll, uh, I'll send you a message. Soon, not like this afternoon or anything, at some stage, you know me. We talk about Bali. Uh, now that it's open, I wonder if you still have to, I think Indonesia now, it's a, it's like a two or three day quarantine or something in a hotel. So it'd be interesting to, the, to see if, well, if you're heading back over, that's for sure. I feel sorry for the, all those Balinese, you know, they really relied on tourist dollars. All those uh, little massage places with all the girls from the villages, they would have had to all gone home. How are they making money over there? God. Gee, the, the down. Oh, the BBL final. Yeah, I'll go and watch the BBL final. I'm guessing it's the uh, Strikers and uh, Sydney team. Is that who's in the final? I don't know. Get her into the NRL. Oh, she doesn't like people bashing into each other. Apparently uh, in the NRL, they have to do like a cognitive test or something before they start the season. So most of them act really dumb when they go in, like, huh, what? Because at the end of the season, they have to do another cognitive test. And if, it, if they're worse than when they started, that means they can't play anymore. So they've got to bung on being really bad. And um, yeah, apparently, that's what I've heard at least anyway. That's what I've heard. Sydney Sixers and the Scorchers. Uh, who's the Scorchers? Is that the Adelaide Scorchers? I've got no idea. But I'll go and watch the uh, I'll go and watch the BBL final. That's for sure. I've got to go and do that now. Actually. Oh, Perth and Sydney. Oh, Perth Scorchers. Oh, that's right, because I haven't even been home for like six months. Yeah, Perth Scorchers have been locked out of their own state, haven't they? Poor bastards. Oh, Bali's pretty good. Bali's better than bloody Los Angeles and South and and uh, and San Francisco. That's for sure. Much cleaner. I'd rather go to Bali than I, I than go to Los Angeles. It's very nice. Yeah, it's not the best place on earth. You know, it's dodgy, shitty streets and bad 
footpaths that you can probably put your leg down and take the skin off your shin and stuff and break a leg, but hey, at least you're not getting shot. Bali's about to get Omicron. For a few months, they could have any chance of opening. They're struggling big time. Yes, most have gone back to their villages. Well, I would have thought Omicron would have been everywhere by now. You want to go to Fiji? I've been to Fiji. And um, I've been to Bali and Thailand and Fiji. Fiji is very... The, actually, one of the best holidays I ever had was in Fiji, and it was at this resort where they had no electricity, and it was just rainwater, and so you couldn't do anything except walk on the beach. It was very relaxing, but Fiji in itself is pretty boring. Like there's not, there's not many shops or anything to do. If you like doing nothing, then Fiji is good. If you want something to do, then uh, Bali and Thailand's much better. <laughs> oh, the the heat finished the BBL season second last. Wow, that good. Good. Think of the budget and accommodation in LA. Loads of cheap B and B boxes. No way. I I hate LA. It's a bigger shithole. It's. I mean, I've been to India, and. Um, which is really dirty. But LA is just a dump. It's a horrible place. It's hell on earth, I reckon. Go to Canada. Uh, I don't think I'll be going anywhere. The only place I sort of want to go is Tasmania. Yeah, I'd like to go there. Uh, but I have to head off, everyone. Um, I need to go and watch the cricket final and um, do some other things. One hour and 42 I've been going. Greek islands, I've been to the Greek islands. Been to Canada. Been to America. Fiji's only got resorts. It's There's not much, um, not much to do there. I'd rather go to uh, the Solomon Islands or something like that, I think. Well, I haven't been there, so that's why. You're a quarter Samoan. Hey, bro. Oh, shit, bro. Quarter Samoan. But cheers, everyone. Thanks for coming along today. Uh, thanks for the Super Chats, everyone. That's Super Chat to me. Thanks, Michelle. I'll be getting on to you. Uh, come around, catch up. And, um, yeah, over that side of town too, Kedron. I'm sure there's somewhere I can go for lunch and make a video as well so I can kill two birds with one stone. Get a Isuzu D-Max or an MUX. Yeah, the MUX. But their price went up $10,000 from the last time. and Their resale, yeah, it's probably pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, you need to have money if you go to LA as well. You don't need that much money in Bali, so. Go to Russia. A bit too cold at the moment. But, um, thanks for coming along today, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining in for an afternoon, Friday afternoon chat. And uh, I'll try, I don't have any plans on... I'll try and do a live stream next week sometime, but there's no point me just jumping on to do one when I'm, I need to be in the mood and the last few days I've just been feeling a bit down and a bit like average and uh, so next time, next time I'm feeling really awesome, I'll jump on. So until then, thanks for coming along and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. I'm loving these cartons.